you are about to discover a tool that is capable of completely changing your design workflow. It is better than Figma, it's better than Sketch, it's better than any design software that you are using. It's going to tremendously save your time and actually the designs that you will be able to do, no matter if it's a website design or logo design or something else, the designs that you will be able to do will be 10 times, 20 times, maybe even 100 times better than what you have been able to do right now. So here's the thing. Oftentimes, we as a designers, we get a new project, we jump into Figma, and we get so excited, we cannot wait to start moving things around, you know, the headline here, text here, button here. We start with the composition even before we think about it. Now, here are the keynotes. The tool that I'm about to show to you or explain to you, it's much, much better than Figma or Sketch or Adobe XD or whatever software you are using. It is available to you 24 7. You don't actually even need an internet connection to use it. The thing that I'm talking about is your imagination. Now before you laugh, before you click on click outside of this video, feel free to do, but hear me out. I've been designing websites for 12 years and this tool has helped me so so much. It cut down my design workflow maybe by 50%. My designs were more polished, more buttoned up, um, they were much more prettier, beautiful. Um, I didn't lose any time while wireframing on design. You see, the thing with the imagination is that it's limitless. You don't have any canvas area, you don't have any artboard size. Uh, it's limitless, everything is instant. Like imagine, uh, if I'm imagining, right, this is what I do. If I get a new design project, most of the time it's website design. But if I get a new project, what I do is I put my AirPods on, I play some music that I really, really like, and I close my eyes. All I do is that I imagine. I imagine the workflow, I imagine the sections, the habits, the color, the imagery. You know how instant it is? Like in my imagination, if I want to change the color from red to blue, it's instant, right? And I don't even have to click here, here, here. I don't have to do anything like that. It's all instant. Even with imagery, like even if uh, I imagine some image here and then I want to change it to something else, I can see it instantly. It's instantaneous. I don't have to wait for anything. I don't have to have a perfect internet con connection. I don't even have to have a laptop. In, in fact, I don't, I don't. What I do is when I get a new design project, I lay down on the bed, put some beautiful music to my ears, close my eyes and imagine the whole, whole layout from top to bottom the colors, the hierarchy, the composition, the text, even the copywriting stuff, right? And I can imagine the whole homepage in a matter of minutes. And then once I go to Figma, and by the way, I love Figma. Figma is on my plate every single day. By the time that I get to Figma, I'm not guessing. I'm just translating my visuals from my imagination into Figma. It's much more snappier, it's much more faster. And I argue that it's incredibly much more beautiful because in your imagination you are not limited you know with how should i do that how should i do that don't worry about those things you'll find out those things later on if while you are designing in figma but in your imagination it's so easy to move elements to um make the composition beautiful you can see it in the bird's eye view you can see the whole composition the whole hierarchy the whole rhythm the things that you are able to do in your imagination you cannot possibly do in any design tool. Now, as I said, don't get me wrong, I love Figma, I love that it exists because it makes our life so much easier because I'm able to translate uh, the thing that I see in my imagination into a tangible design to Figma. And that is a beautiful thing. But if your workflow is like you open a Figma and you create a simple blank canvas um, and then you don't know what to do, you go search for an inspiration and you try to copy those things, you are limiting your ability to design beautiful things, okay? I will say it again. You are limiting your ability to design beautiful things if you are reliant on inspiration from other sources. I believe, I truly believe that inside each and every one of you is that creativity that is capable of creating beautiful things, not just website designs or, or graphic elements like logos and things like that. No, like anything interior design or anything like that and in your imagination it's so easy to do it's literally the easiest thing on earth however you need to do it right you need to do it because we completely forget about it it's like we are so bombarded by this tool that 
you don't even think about like closing your eyes and actually thinking about the website. We are so excited to go to Figma and move those things around and, and trying to figure those things out inside the Figma, which is also possible, of course. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's just going to take a, so much more time. And in your imagination, it's just so, so much easier. So I don't want to make this video so long. Next time, take this only as my suggestion and a friendly advice for you from a designer who has been designing websites for over 12 years. Next time, if you are going to design, for example, a website, maybe you will remember what Tommy said that, okay, maybe I can close my eyes just for a little. It's also going to be uh, good for my body. I'm going to rest, right? I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to imagine the website even before I put the first element inside a Figma or Sketch or whatever. I'm going to try to think about the colors. I'm going to imagine the imagery inside the website. Um, maybe I will think about the copywriting. Maybe I can think beforehand about the hierarchy or the user flows and things like that. Maybe I can think of the animations between the section. Try it. It's so easy, but you just have to use it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to unlock your creativity. Even if you think that you are not creative at all and you don't have that what it takes to design uh, beautiful things, let me tell you that it's a lie. The creativity lies within each and every one of us. You just have to unlock it. And I'm going to share with you the process of uh, how to do so. And let me tell you, I didn't see anyone on YouTube talk about this. So have a nice day. See you soon.